don't try to get your boundaries pre-approved. My focus leading up to my workshop that I'm going to be doing on June 9th in Los Feliz here in the LA area um, is all about boundaries. So my focus with a lot of my clients and in my videos and everything is about boundaries, setting boundaries, maintaining boundaries, both within yourself and, and on the outside with other people, relationships, family, work, all the situations where we need good, healthy boundaries if we are going to have a life that is a reflection of our authenticity rather than conformity. So here's a mistake that a lot of people make about boundaries. What they do is they kind of run their boundaries by the other person before they set them. Like, you know, I'm thinking I'm going to need you to do whatever. Okay, you fill in the blanks. Now, I'm not talking about being dictatorial here and it's my way or the highway and all that crap, okay? That's not my point. My point is when you're setting boundaries on somebody and you try to kind of get their permission, they're not going to like it. They might give you the permission and they're lying. They might argue forever. They might say you're out of line. But what ends up happening is it's almost like um, when you get antibiotic resistance, right? If you take antibiotics for a few days and the infection goes away and you say, oh, I'm better now. I don't need the rest of the antibiotics. And then what happens? It comes back. And then what happens when you try to take your antibiotics? They don't work. Because you have previewed the antibiotics to the biotics, <laughs> to the bacteria or whatever you're trying to kill. You've said, here's what I'm going to kill you with. I'm just going to give you a little bit. And the bacteria says, oh, okay, um, now we know how to deal with that. Because what happens? You kill all the bacteria that are easily killed by that antibiotic, and the ones that survive replicate, and now all you have is resistant bacteria. Antibiotic-resistant bacteria. Now, I'm not a doctor. So, <laughs> don't quote me on all the scientific details, but, you know, that's basically how it works, right? Same thing if you say, um, I'm thinking, let's say you have a kid and you have a curfew of um, midnight, whatever. The kid has to be home by midnight. And I don't mean little kid, I mean whatever, teenager, whatever. They're in your house. You're a parent. And you say, I'm thinking about making a rule where you have to be home at midnight or else X, Y, Z. First of all, well, they're going to argue against that. They are going to call you names. They are going to say you're controlling. Whatever. They're going to give you their argument. You're going to talk about it. Now, let's say if a week later you're like, yeah, actually, I am instituting that rule. Well, now you've given them a week to come up with new counter arguments, strategies, whatever, um, plans to thwart you. They made appointments for things. They paid money. They bought tickets for things that last past midnight, whatever. Maybe they moved out because they're 18, whatever. But the thing is, if you set the rule, you're willing to talk about it, but this is the rule. We start with the boundary. We don't start with, 
I want you to give me approval to put this boundary on you. Like, why would they give you that approval? You're, basically, you're being weak. You're, the reason you never had boundaries before on, in that area or whatever is that you didn't want confrontation. And so now you're being weak again because you still don't want confrontation. So you're trying to preempt the confrontation with a conversation, an agreement, and it's a weak way to do it. Again, I am not suggesting that you go out there willy-nilly setting outrageous boundaries on people because that's a good way to lose everybody in your life. All of a sudden, you're the one putting rules on people or whatever. Um, but see, another thing that you'll notice that people that do have good boundaries is that a lot of times they never say the word boundary. They never think of it as something that's up for discussion. They just think, well, of course you have to be home by midnight. Well, you never made me be home by midnight before. It wasn't that big of a problem before, but now it kind of is. So, or you say, yeah, I messed up. But just because I messed up then doesn't mean I'm, I got to keep messing up. And so you don't ask for permission. Now, keep in mind, a really important thing about boundaries is that you set as few as necessary. You want to set the minimum amount of boundaries, not the maximum amount. And you want the boundaries to be reasonable, logical, but you don't want to get into a position where you feel like you have to justify all of your boundaries. See, you're trying to create a safe space in your life to manifest what you want to manifest. So, for example, if you're a musician and you need time to practice your instrument, you are demanding that time. And you are, let's say, going around the house saying, Anybody need anything from me? Because I'm not going to be available for three hours. And everybody knows not to bother you during that time. But you know that you need to give everybody a chance to remember that, oh yeah, right, I do need your signature on this thing. I do need uh, to ask you this question. I do need to ask you, uh, where'd you put the uh, relish? <laughs> I can't find it. You know, whatever. You might need to structure things in a certain way. Not just, I practice piano between three and six every day and don't bother me. You need to maybe say, hey, it's 2.55. I'm about to start practicing piano. Anybody need me for anything before I get going on that? No? Okay, cool. See you at six. Boundaries are meant to have less drama. Boundaries are meant to create a space for you to manifest. By trying to get your boundaries pre-approved by the people that you're putting those boundaries on, you are just creating drama, you're creating conflict, you're creating all of these things to discuss. And again, you're going to discuss these things when you put the boundaries down. When you, you know, when you say, I don't answer the phone after 10 o'clock at night, whatever. Then, at first, people are going to call you at 10.01 or 10.10 or whatever. And they're going to be like, it was barely after 10. You're like, yeah, I turn it off at 10. It's over, man. I don't pick it up. I don't look at it. I don't check it before bed. Nothing. So if you want to talk to me, call me well before 10 o'clock. You might even want to call me earlier than that because now everybody knows 10 o'clock is the deadline and I get 20 phone calls at, at, at uh, 9.45. Can't talk to everybody. 
So you start arranging your space in a certain way. And obviously, if somebody has a major issue with it, and it's not just some selfish, spoiled reaction, and you can tell the difference usually, then you discuss it. You know, you're flexible, you're reasonable. It's not about being a dictator. It's not about imposing crazy, inflexible boundaries. It's about creating this space for you to manifest what you want to manifest in your life. It's about you having the space to tap into your own magic. And your own magic comes from your energy, not from a mixture so much of your energy that is compromised with somebody else's energy. Obviously, you can collaborate, but most people compromise their truth in order to get along with people that maybe they shouldn't even really get along with that much because there is not much of an authentic connection. Anyway, so try not to, try to do this thing of asking for permission to set the boundary, to get the pre-approval. It's weak. It shows that you're not really standing up for your own boundary. Something to think about about boundaries. And anyway, I will be having a seminar about this, um, an energy healing and group hypnotic journey in Los Feliz at Solates. Uh, you can email me at andysway at yahoo.com or look on my website, um, andysway.com slash boundary setting. Um, and I look forward to seeing you there or in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.